Okay, now that we have our palette set up, our canvas ready to paint on, we need to grab our number one flat brush and we're going to start mixing our first color. Now, I want to start with her cheeks. It's always better in my case to start with the hardest part, get it over with, that way we don't have to stress over it for the rest of the painting. And the hardest part usually lies within the flesh tones. Now flesh tones can be a little complicated so I'm going to try and simplify it as much as possible for you guys. We're going to start with a little bit of titanium white. And then we're going to go with some yellow ochre, a touch of scarlet, or sorry, um, this is, yes, this is scarlet. Not a lot. I'm going to slip that off of our thing. And then a very small dot of phthalo blue. A little bit goes a long way. We're just going to start mixing and see what we've got. Okay, so that is still looking a little bit like yellow ochre. So we're going to take a little bit more of our scarlet and a little bit of the crimson. And start mixing that together. Okay, now we're getting a more blushier tone. This is still on the cool side because that... Um, Crimson has a little bit more of a blue hue than the scarlet does. We've got that all mixed together. I'm going to take a little bit of our titanium white off to the side, place it down, and then start mixing a little bit from what was on the brush. Don't get into this yet because we want to tone that down. See, as I'm going to the left, I'm bringing in a little bit more of the titanium white. And a little bit more until we get to the lightest shade that we've got here. Okay, then wipe off our brush a little bit lower because the back of it's going to be a little bit more concentrated. Okay, so we're going to start with this color here, this lightest color. And we might add just a touch more titanium white to that. There we go. Now this may look a little bit dark, but when we get it on the canvas, it's still going to look dark because of the white background. Now what's going to happen once we start painting the background with these deep fire colors and some uh, burnt umber in the background, we're going to lighten everything that's in the foreground by creating a dark background. So it's going to look dark at first, but you got to trust the process. All you got to do is just be brave and put it down. Put one down on either side of her cheek. I'm resting my hand on the bottom of my easel. You want to try and never rest your hand on the canvas directly. So I'm going to work from that center dot in the center of her cheeks out into a round circle. Okay, it looks a little crazy right now, but just trust me. So we got a lot of load up on our brush from mixing the paint with our brush. It's not really good practice, but for this it'll work. So all we're going to do is take a piece of paper towel, place it on there, pinch, and pull it off. You can give it a couple wipes. You don't need to worry about getting all of the paint off yet. We're not cleaning our brush yet, as we're still going to be using the same color family as we just used. So for this, we're going to take a little bit more of our yellow ochre and this that we brushed off of our paintbrush earlier. We're going to start mixing it in. 
just to get a little of that peachiness into our yellow ochre. Draw in some little more. Make sure you rub it in both sides of your brushes so that way you can load up the right colors. A little bit of titanium white underneath. We're going to place it down and blend it in down here because we, we might want to use that color a little bit later. And you should come out with a color kind of like this. I don't know why it's not working with me. A little bit more titanium white. Bring in some of that yellow ochre. Okay, and then we should come up with a color like this, which is a little bit warmer than the color than we originally started out with. We're going to work that around this blush area, just a hair around it. You don't want to pull it out too far. And then nobody's cheeks are perfectly round, even though this is kind of anime. So we're going to bring it up with a little triangle towards her nose. But we're going to keep that same contour where her nose would be going around on the edge of her nostril. And then we're just going to work that in, blend it in with the, the bare end bristles of your brush to the core of that color. And then we're going to bring it up just a little bit underneath the corner of the eye, just like that. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. So we worked around the edge just a hair. We're going to bring it up into that corner just a little bit under her, the, the inside corner of her eye. Keep that contour around the nose, under the eye. You want to like a U shape under the eye and then bring it up on this side under the outside corner of her eye. And then blend it in with just the hair, the very, very tip of your paintbrush. Start blending that into the center. Okay. Now we're going to wipe off our brush again. We're going to clean it off. I've got this glass full of uh, odorless paint thinner. I'm just going to swish my brush around in there, hit the bottom of it a couple of times, tap it off, and then wipe off the excess of that paint thinner in here. Now if we get the paint thinner into the paint, we're going to have a runny mess. So you want to make sure that your paintbrush is getting dry. Now we're not going to mix more colors. We're going to take titanium white and we're going to be working with titanium white to soften the color around the edges. This is mixing our colors on the canvas. So we're going to start on this side right now, and we're going to take just the very edge and paint a little line around it with that titanium white. We're going to go all the way around this area and see that starting to lighten it. Now your brush is going to get dirty fast with that pigmented color. So we're going to dry it off again on a paper towel, get that pigment out, go back into our titanium white, and just go over the spot where it kind of got a little muddied. Okay. Now that we've got our border, it kind of looks like a watermelon with pink inside and then the white rind. We're going to go in and starting from the outside in, so that way the inside is the main saturated point, we're going to start gently blending with the, the, the edge of our brush, just pulling that into the center. Do 
is working that titanium white in. And that titanium white is going to pick up some of that other color and it's going to start changing it into a nice fleshy tone. And we just work around the outside first. Don't get into her nose. It's okay to go under her nose right now. We're going to leave her under eyelid and this part of her temple alone for right now. We're just going to focus on this centerpiece. So now we can start going a little bit farther in, bringing it out. Now it's okay if you have brush strokes. And then go in just a little bit like a spiral. Bring it up into that corner. Bring it up into this corner. I don't like how close it is, so we can just pull that titanium white away from her mouth a little bit. Okay, now we're going to wipe off our brush. As we have a nice little blush going, we're going to take our mop brush, or in my case, my eyeshadow brush, because this is my trusty, dusty eyeshadow brush. We're going to go very lightly where you just want the very tip of the hairs to touch your canvas. You don't want to push in because that's just going to smear everything everywhere. We're trying to eliminate the surface brush strokes. So just very practice on your pinky. Just very lightly we're going to touch that canvas. So just start at the outside. Work around. Kind of go with the contours of her face, how they would go. We're going to go over it just a couple times. Go over this a couple times. Go around. Really soften those edges. And then in the final brush stroke, go around in the center just a hair to get rid of some of them brush strokes. And then we always end with rubbing out our mop brush to make sure that none of that pigment's going to transfer over to the other side. Okay, now we can do the same thing to the other side. Now again, we're going to pick up some titanium white, just a little bit on the end of our brush. We're going to lay some down all the way around here. If it starts to get muddy, just clear off your brush on a paper towel and then pick up some more paint. Make it look like that watermelon with the rind all the way around. And then we can work that white in towards the center into our peachy color. Drying off our brush every once in a while to get rid of that loaded pigment. Keep going around the outside and then bring it in to the center. Might need to pick up some more titanium white and if it's not looking right just keep adding to that outer ring and then pulling that color into the center. It's okay if you've got brush strokes because we've got our magic little mop brush. I'm going to pick up some more titanium white and kind of even out both sides. I've gone down into here next to the corner of her mouth on this side. So I'm going to go down into the corner of her mouth here, follow the edge of her nose, pick up some of that pigment, start pulling it down a little bit. Wipe off my brush so I can get some more of that pigment that we want. Start pulling it down. 
Okay. Now we can make sure I always double check that my mop brush is ready in case I've forgotten and I don't go into the painting with a dirty mop brush. Always just give it a good scrub on the paper, clean piece of the paper towel. And then start working from the outside. Very, very light touches. It's okay if you go out of the lines. You will probably still be able to just see the lines, but we can always fix that later when we go into the hair or the background. Dry off your brush. See how I got that out of the line a little bit? That's okay. We'll just go in there, sweep it up. Pull this down. Sweep it up. Now it starts looking a little lopsided. We've got a little bit more pigment. We've saved some of our pigment on that palette. So you can go in and you can just touch up the center, bring in some of that pigment again. It's not an exact science, just kind of figure out what's going to work for you. And dry off our mop brush. Just very lightly work out those brush strokes. I'm going to bring in some more titanium white on this side, just under her eye. It's a little bit too much. Just kind of brush it off with your thing, wipe it off on the towel. It'll be fine. We'll land this edge a little bit. I am not perfect. Nobody's perfect, so don't try to be perfect. Okay, I'm still not quite happy with that, so I'm going to go in some more here. Just work it until you you find a place that you're happy with those cheeks. Okay, I think that's good enough for a start. We're going to go over it a couple more times with different colors anyways. So I will start the next part of this video. Okay, so we've got our cheeks done. They're not perfectly symmetrical. Nobody's face is perfectly symmetrical. I'm doing this for the first time just as you're doing this for the first time. Now I notice there's a little bit of a yellow ochre tone to this side that's not on this side. So I'm going to go back in where we mixed up our secondary skin tone down here. I'm going to pick up some of that yellow ochre, just a little bit, and I'm going to go around the edges. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong, it's painting. Pick up a little bit more of that color, bring it in to the center, and then get a little bit of that blush tone that we originally mixed up, and just put a little bit more in there. There we go.
and we're going to blend that in. Working from the outside so we keep that titanium white nice and bright and then we go towards the middle. Just mix it until you're happy. Try not to push too hard. Okay. Now I'm going to have to stop this video so I can change my battery. So I will be back. Now that we've gotten this far, we're doing pretty good so far. Um, we're going to move to the bottom of our eyelids. So to do that, I want to mix up a more shadowy color of this. So we're going to pick up just a touch of this, lay it down over here, pick up just a, t I mean, that's too much, just a tiny bit more of that phthalo blue. Touch it down to that a couple times, make sure you're not getting too much, and then mix it. So you get this more brownish, purplish color with this. You can add a little bit more of that to it if you want. And then we're going to go again with our trick of putting a little bit of titanium white off to the side and then just blending that into it. Until we get a nice lighter color. Okay. Now we're going to go into her cheeks again, right under this line where the bottom of her eyelid is, her eyelid is the crease right there. We're going to put in a little shadow. I got a little out of hand on this side, so you have to bear with me. And then pull that color down. Pull that color down. And then just swipe to the left and the right. It's not going to make a huge difference, but enough of one. This side is still giving me trouble, so I'm going to add a little bit of that first color we mixed up, that blush. Go in underneath there again didn't really darken it like I wanted it to. There's always, when you're doing a symmetrical face like this, there's always one side that wants to fight you. And that is perfectly normal and natural. And if it, um, if it's bugging you, just know that we'll get through it. We'll work through it. If you've got questions, just ask me in the comments below and I'll try and, and give you the best help that I can. Okay, that's looking pretty good to me. So now the underneath of our eye, I want it to be a little lighter. So we're going to go into this peachy color that we mixed up with some titanium white. I want to lighten that just a touch. So just a touch of titanium white into the corner of that. Mix it in. Load up our brush. And just go right underneath her eye. Leave a little bit of space for that tear duct. Go right underneath her eye. Now we want to keep that kind of shadow line. So we're going to go from left to right with our mop brush. Left to right. Left to right. Shouldn't have very many brush strokes to be weeding out on this. Then I'm going to go in with titanium white and go right in the middle. Just plop some down right in the middle. Rub, rub, rub off our uh, mop brush. Make sure that's nice and clean because we're going into white. And just go left to right. And then clean it off again. Go to the other side. Left to right. Okay. 
I just want to go and bring this highlight back into our cheeks a little bit. Just pull that back. Okay, so next for the corner of our eyes, we're going to pick up some more titanium white. We're going to use a lot of titanium white for this. Just the corner of our eye. Plop it in just like we did the center. Dry off your brush. Pull it in just a little bit. Work it back up. Go back and forth with it. Then we're going to go in with the inside crease of her upper eyelid. Now not the eyelid eyelid, but between the eyelid and the eyebrow. We're going to go in with that peachy color again, the first one we mixed up. And then you see that I put two little triangles. We're going to paint those in. And just feather them out towards the outside of her face. You can pull in this line a little bit. And then fill in this, feather it out towards the outside of her face, pull in that line a little bit. Now we're going to outline her upper eyelid. Got to pick up some more paint. Outline that upper eyelid. Okay. Now I'm going to bring this down and in just a little bit more to make it a little symmetrical. Just sit back and look at it. If you got to touch something up, it's not the end of the world. And if you don't, oh man, you're doing better than me. So then we're going to feather this out towards the outside of her face. It's okay, we're blending into dry canvas, that's fine. Dry off our brush. We're not cleaning it off yet, because we going into that titanium white, and we want some of that color pigment to stay in there, so that way it's not just white. Then we'll go into the bridge of her nose and add that, give that some more structure. So we're going to barely go along the edge of these, the dark and the light, barely go along the edge of the dark and the light, and then bring it across just a little bit, left and right. It's going to blend that in nicely. Now with this bottom corner color that we mixed, where we went lighter, lighter, with that peachy, um, more yellow ochre tone, we're going to go back into this. If we have to make more, it's just titanium white mixed with our next step. And then we're going to go around her eyebrows and fill in her upper eyelid into her hair. Because she doesn't have eyebrows that go all the way across. They're like dots on her face. Bring it up into her hair around that eyebrow. It's okay if you get into the hair a little bit. It's It'll be fine. And then we're going to blend out that dark into that light just under her eyebrow. Then we're going to pick up that color again. Might have to make some more, so grab some titanium white. Mix it into that second step until we've got a similar shade. And then we're this side shows a little bit more of her forehead, so we're going to do that too. So we're going to go along the edge of this, underneath her eyebrow. Can't forget where this peeks through. Pick up some more paint.
and just color that I got into her eyebrows. See, nobody's perfect. I'm going to leave this horseshoe shape because I want her forehead to be a little brighter. So that's where we're going to clean off our brush. We're going to pick up some titanium white. And we're going to go in like this. Excuse my stomach growling. It looks messy, but we can fix that. So we're going to go in and just left to right, kind of do a little round. Bring that color up into her forehead a little bit. Meld in that upper eyelid. Pull in those darks to lights. And there we have it. She's coming along. Now I do notice that we need to do something about the tip of her chin and her nose. So we're going to pick up more titanium white. We're going to plop down a little bit. That's too much. Plop down a little bit on her nose. And a little bit more on the bridge. I put down too much, so just clean off the brush and pick up what we don't need. Before we take our mop brush and just work it left to right, don't touch those lips because they're going to make a mess. Just dab at that little button nose and then you can just dab at this top one too. Brings it out just a little bit more. Now I want to give her some shine on the top of her cheeks as well. So we're going to do the same kind of thing with our titanium white. Just underneath that shadow we created. And then just feather that in. Clean off your brush regularly after a couple strokes so we don't pull that white or we don't want it. Okay. I'm going to blend in this a little bit more. This side's still fighting me. But that's okay. Now we're going to do the temples or the outside corner of her eye. And we're going to go in with this second step down here because we want a little bit of a shadow. So we're going to mix a little bit of this off to the side of this. We're going to pull in some of the shadow color that we made for under her eyes. And we're going to mix that together. And then we're going to work from the corner of her eye out to the court to the side of her face. Just blend that in as you go. You can blend it down. Just blend that in as you go. If it needs to be a little darker, pull in some of that blush shade. And don't forget, all it is is just that blush shade with a little bit of phthalo blue. Not a lot, because I just did that with a lot and it uh, turned blue. Wonder, wonder how that happened. And just add little bits at a time. And then pull in some of that other color. Go into that. It's a little darker now. A little more in blue. I like that. This is going to be a nice uh, shadow. Into the corners of her face where her hair is falling into her face. I'm going to do a little touch of a shadow where her hair is overlapping a little bit. And along this line, pull it up along the line of her hair. You can do it on this side too. Then we're going to clean off our mop brush and work that in. Just tap, tap, tap. I like to tap. It sound like a Dr. Seuss book, but it works. Tap, tap, tap. Pull it up a little bit. Pull it down a little bit. Just get it where you like it. If you see any brush strokes, just take care of those. 
I'm going to use that same shadowy color that we just used and pull some more into this corner of her eye. Give it some more dimension, make it pop a little bit more because we really want her eyes to pop. Okay, now that we've got this, we're going to go into the scleras of her eyes, which for that we're going to be mixing up different shades of colors. We're going to go a little bit blue, a little bit green, maybe a little bit brown. I know that sounds weird for white sclera, so we wanted to dip our brush into that paint thinner, rub it around a little bit, and then make sure that we're clearing that all off on our paper towel. Might need a new paper towel by this point. I might get some of that pink off of there until it's rubbing off kind of clear. Then we're going to do just a touch. See, I've, I've wiped off my excess here, so I'm just going to take a touch of this and put it down in the middle. That's the, our phthalo blue. We're going to take a touch more, but not too much more of our ultramarine blue. Now this isn't as pigmented as I thought it was going to be when I twisted it out earlier. We're going to put it off to the side so that way we can mix to the two together in between. A tiny, mm, no not phthalo. We want to go a tiny tiny bit, I mean just a touch into that green. See that's that green is really, the plant green is really pigmented. Then we're going to go just a touch into the burnt umber and mix that around. Pull in some more blue if we want. Pull in some more brown. We want to create a nice grayish color. So we're going to mix all of that. Should lean towards the blue green side. Wipe it off. Pull up some titanium white and off in the corner where we're just going to get a little of that I mean just a little bit we're going to mix our white see how nice and gray that is sorry that my camera is not focusing it's not behaving <coughs> I'm sick by the way so I, I apologize for coughing we're going to go in and do this corner of her sclera just at the top underneath her um eyelash line. Do it on both sides of her eye. Pull it out to the edge. Just like that. We're going to pick up some more of that color. Do the same thing on this side. So we're going underneath the eyelash line, not into our irises, just on that sclera. And just into the corner of her eye. And then we're going to wipe, wipe off our brush. I need Okay, now that I've taken a second to look at it, I've realized I've forgotten a piece of her forehead, but that's no problem. We're going to go into this lighter color down here, pick up the rest of that, and just fill in those little spots. Make some more of that lighter color with our titanium white in that next level of that skin tone color. Just go in and fill that in real quick. There we go. Wipe off my brush and clean it out with paint thinner. Dry it off really good. 
We're going to go into that titanium white again to do her scleras. Get a little bit of paint on your brush and then just touch into the bottom <coughs> of that color. Touch into the bottom of that color. And then we're going to blend it just between the two even out that harsh line. Dry off our brush a little bit so we don't get rid of that nice gray we've got. Okay, now we're going to go into our burnt umber, pick up some of our brush, and we're going to start with her irises. So I want the darkest part with the burnt umber right underneath her eyelid. Pull it down a little bit on the sides. Do the same thing on the other side. We're going to actually switch brushes let me find one here to this zero. I don't know if you can see that. Zero flat brush should look like this. We're going to pick up just a tiny bit of our ivory black. I don't like using black because it makes your colors less vibrant if you use black. But we're going to go in just under her eyelashes again to darken that up. Go right in underneath the eyelashes again, darken that up. Wipe off your brush really good, get all that black off. And we're going to go into our yellow ochre right next to our scarlet. Get some of it, that on her brush, and then fill in the lower half of her eye. Don't worry about blending yet. And if you get out of line again like I did, just pick up some more of that titanium white and kind of go over that little spot. And then blend it up in. Now I want to add some warmth to her eyes and really make them look caramely. So I'm going to pick up just a touch of that scarlet and work that in to the middle towards the top. Kind of like her people, but not really. Pick up some more, do the same thing on the other side. Should look a little evil right now with red pupils. Then I'm going to go in with our crimson. Just a touch. A work into the top of that circle that we just made. Into the black and the uh, burnt umber. Then we're going to take our brush and draw up that yellow ochre into the other colors and pull some of that red down.
Now we're going to take some of that uh, burnt umber again, just a little bit, and just put a little bit of that underneath. Might have to pick up a little bit more and just get it underneath. Here we go. Okay, then we're going to go in with our. Two slash zero flat brush, which is very small. I don't know if you can see that. Go into our ivory black, pick up just a dot on the end of that, and try to go right for the center of her pupil. Start off small because you can always go bigger. which I think I'm going to go a little bigger for her. Now again, we're going to go back in with our same brush, but we're going to work it into this blush color again, and a little bit of her lip color. We're going to do the inside corners of her eyes. Just tiny little triangles. go kind of up towards the top and down towards the bottom. I like to do a little touch in the corners of her eyes. Now we're going to go in with our secondary color here, our third. And we're going to line her lower lash line. Oops. Now we're going to blend that in just a little bit. Then we're going to go under here to her flesh color, and where we mixed it with titanium white, we're going to do that some more. Don't load up your brush too much like I just did. And we're going to paint in her upper eyelids. Just touch up anything that you see 
might need touched up. And then her upper, the crease of her upper eyelid kind of went away. So we're going to go back into that peachy color. And reline that upper eyelid. We're going to go in with our blending brush. Don't get into her eye at all. Be very careful. Blend that out. Okay, so now let's see what we're going to do. I want to add some more shadows to her upper eyelid, so I'm going to go into that kind of grayish peachy tone. And just put a little bit of that in the corners. She looks a little creepy right now, I'm not going to lie to you, but I promise we'll fix that. We're going to go into that same kind of gray peachy color and do a little bit where her waterline would end on the outside. So we did the inside, now we're doing the outside. Blend that in a little bit. Now we're going to get into our eyelashes, which I'm going to mix a little bit of ivory black with burnt umber. Mix that around real good because that burnt umber isn't holding to the canvas kind of like I want it to. But I don't want solid black eyelashes. So we're going to go in from the outside corner of her eye, her iris, and swoop it out. Big eyelashes are good. We like big eyelashes. It's going to mix in with your paint, so you're going to have to load up more paint periodically. You can always go over it. And just be careful where you place these because it's going to be hard to uh, fix it once they're down. And then just line her eyelid. Mix up some more of that burnt umber and that ivory black. Just line. Now the tricky part is doing the same thing on the other side. So we're going to start out here, bring it into the corner of her iris. So where my hands get wobbly.
they don't have to be exactly the same. Don't put that pressure on yourself. Sometimes I go ahead and draw them out with the lesser paint and then I go in and darken that up. Bring that color down into the edges of her irises. And then add some very wispy eyelashes in there. So I'm going to add one in the middle here. One in the, I like to go in between them. Then we're going to mix up some more of that color, ivory black and burnt umber. We're just going to add in some bottom lashes. Try not to get those too thick. Now we're going to go into that gray sclera color. We're going to darken up some of them scleras. Work it down. Might have to brighten it back up. It's just a game you gotta play. Then we're going to go in with that original color, that peachy color. We're going to darken up the inside of her waterline on the outside corner. Coming in. Darken up that waterline on the outside corner coming in. We're going to be touching up her face probably a lot. So if there's something that you're not liking, don't worry about it. We'll get it. I'm going to take some burnt umber and go around the edges of her irises. Kind of got a little oblong, but we got titanium white. That'll fix it. We're going to put some titanium white just under the bottom. Just 
sharpen up those irises. I take a couple layers of white. I'm going to take some of that color that we mixed up for her eyelashes and I'm going to go on the outside corner of her irises and pull it down and then blend it in. And we're going to go in with some titanium white after we clean our brush. We're going to add a little dollop here and a little dash up here. It's going to be the same for the other eye. A little dollop here. Maybe pick up some more paint and a little dash here. Clean off our brush. I'm going to go back into that blushy color, mix it with a little bit of her lip color and just darken up this outer corner again. Going with that blue peachy tone, the grayish peachy tone, and just in between her eyelashes, give her some more definition of that upper lid. I'm going to sharpen up some of these, maybe. Got a little crazy. It's okay. It's not realistic. If it was one of my realistic paintings, I'd be having a hissy fit, but it's not. Okay. So now that we're to this stage, and she's not looking as creepy, she's looking more doll-like, we're going to mix up her hair color. So I'm going to go into this with some Fela Blue. I'm actually not going to use this brush, though. I'm going to clean off that brush real quick. I want to go back in with our number one flat brush. Make sure that that's cleaned off. We're going to go into that phthalo blue again. Drop a little bit down. We're going to go a little bit of ultramarine blue. Drop that down. It's wanting to dry out already. That's what I get for using cheaper paint. So we've got our nice blue color. It's a little bright for her hair, so I want to go into the scarlet or crimson, sorry. Mix that in. So we get kind of like a purpley color. And then I'm going to put a little bit of burnt umber in there to tone down the vivid blue. Test that out over here. It's looking nice. Okay. Now we're going to get her eyebrows in. Just feather those in there just a little bit. She's just got little nubs for eyebrows. That 
one got a little light, so we'll get a little bit more pigment on the brush and just pat that on. If we do swiping movements, then it's going to blend in with those flesh tones underneath. Now, I like the blue, but I think we need to add some of that into her eyelashes. So we're going to go back in with our 2 slash 0 flat brush, pick up some of that blue color, and just on the underneath of her eyelashes, put in some blue. Then we're going to pick up some more blue, and on the inside of her iris, we're going to create a little line just to separate that water duct from her eye. Blend it in a little bit towards her eye. Pick up some more paint. Okay. Now, I think that's a good place to stop for our first video after I fix their little sclera a little bit. Just go in there, add a little bit of white highlight. Maybe add just a dot into each tear duct. Okay, I think that's good for the first video. I'm not sure how long we ran, but her face is 90% done. We'll do some little touch-ups as we go, especially when we get into the glazing layer. Um, Again, don't don't expect perfection from yourself. I certainly don't have perfection here. Uh, I was hoping that this would go a little bit smoother, more like what I had in my head. But sometimes the paint, sometimes the paint decides what we're gonna end up with. <laughs> so just be kind to yourself. Be kind to your painting. Uh, if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll be starting on the next one very soon, where we will be doing. I believe her hair is next, so we'll get that face framed out nice and pretty. Thank you again for watching, and as always, I hope you have a wonderful day. If you consider it, please like, subscribe, so that way you can follow along with the rest of this tutorial. Um, I have another one planned of Mona next. It'll be a little bit different than this one. This one's going to have her body in it. So we'll get through this, and then we'll see what we can do about Mona. Thank you very much, and you have a wonderful day.